head is shaking a little. I know I was MIA and then I kind of posted random videos, but I'm watching HDTV in the back. So basically, I want to get on here and continue the um, 14 Days of Black X. <laughs> and I know y'all probably like, it's just May. I know, I know it's May, but it's important to take note of this because black people are not just great in February. Black history does not end in February. Black heroes do not only do shit in February. We should not only recognize them in February. Black history is American history, okay? Black history is like all year long. Like we learn about white history all year long, like it's the same shit. And the topic of today will be um, colorism. The whole light skin, dark skin shit. I mean, we know where it stems from. If you don't, it stems from in the times where people were kidnapped and enslaved. Um, a lot of the times the slave masters would have the lighter skin slaves, usually the outcome of the slave master um, sexually abusing the slaves and having biracial back then called mulatto children they would tend to put them in the house and then um and have them do housework and put the darker slaves in the in the field and have them do harder labor a lot of time fair skinned slaves had access to a lot of things darker skinned slaves did not have access to like they were in the house so they had access to like books and stuff let me just um share my experience start by saying that my family is super diverse when it comes to skin tones and that doesn't mean oh like my grandma you know had a dabble with a couple men no like it was my it's my grandma and my grandpa together like he he may have stepped out you know that papa was a rolling stone type shit but no my grandma and my grandpa they had nine kids okay and all nine of their children are like different shades of black. I'll just share some pictures of my family. My family is just a whole bunch of different fucking colors, but period, we're black. I should have probably explained this in the beginning if you did not know. Colorism is like racism within your own race. That's just like simple terms. Like that's basically what it is. My first time I ever felt excluded and I went to my first in-state school. I met my roommate, I love her. My roommate's a dark skinned girl. And I never, like when I first met her, I was like, oh, she, like I know, I don't think that way. I didn't associate that with her character, if that makes sense. So, so I was friends with her and I would hang out with her and her friends. They were already like a pre-established group. I don't want to say click, but you know, like when you have your group of friends, like that's your group of friends. Like I didn't have that. I was just tagging along cause I mean, I'm getting to know my roommate, so I got to know her friends. Group of black girls, black girl magic, and they were all um, dark skin girls. And I remember I was eating with them and <laughs> they were like, um, they were talking about something. Oh, Instagram. One of them was like, oh my gosh, look at this girl on Instagram. Like, she only got all these likes cause she light skin. If it was a dark skin girl, they wouldn't even have all them likes. And I was just like, and then there was another time where they were like, girl, bye, you light skin, something, something. It's like, they called me light skin. I was like, double chin, bitch, what the fuck? Like, I've never been called light skin my whole motherfucking life. I just rather not be associated with those stereotypes. But anyway, they called me light skin. And I was like, what the fuck? What? Girl, please, I'm brown. And she's like, brown wear, brown wear. I was like, I like never felt this. I was like, what the fuck? I'm light skin. Wait, like when? When did this? When did this come about? They'll be like, Kiki, you light skin, you light skin. I'm like, I'm not fucking light skin. They like, you have identity issues, sis, because you're light skin and you don't see it and you think you darker than what you are. You want to be darker than what you are. I was like, yeah, I don't have. I don't. I've never said in my life, oh, let me not go outside. I'm gonna get dark. Never said that. I love the fucking sun. Sometimes, I mean, the heat isn't the best, but like. Bitch, I worked at Carowinds one summer. I had the best damn tan of my life. Like I had, I soaked up so much sun. My dark spots were non-existent. Like my skin was just glowing brown. It's just so, just, oh, 
beautiful right so like i consider myself the color of my hands and i know like being black obviously our skin i mean i have a foundation right now but being black our skin has we have different like tones in our skin look at my hands compared to my chest and so i was just like dark like light skin wear i really consider myself the color of my hands and um i do i guess i i've, I've learned that i do change color throughout the year when it's winter time you know i'm getting that much sun so it would make sense for me not to be getting darker because the sun is not technically out like that in the winter time but anyway i used to get played a lot in college and they'll be like oh you light skin you brown skin wear you brown wear you're light skin i was just like bitch i'm not fucking light skin i'm not i got a picture to prove it like my sister both of my sisters are lighter than me that's me so obviously i be ranging in color throughout the year but i'm definitely not light skin like my sister is light my younger sister is darker than my middle sister but i am the darkest out of so that's when i was like ha huh. like this is how I don't know what anybody else sees. I don't see me as light skin or whatever. Oh, you light skin? I'm like, no, we all range. I'm lighter than you, but I'm not light skin. I'm not like high yellow. I'm not like Drake, Rihanna, Beyonce. Okay. To conclude the video, <laughs> colorism just divides us. And as black people, I feel like we already have such a strong bond but there's so much dividing us at the same time. Like, you ever been in a place where there's like nobody that looks like you and you spot that one black person and you just like, like you see them, like you literally, like y'all see each other and you sit there and you're like, all right, bet. Like, if anything go down, I got your back, you got my back. Like, we got each other, like we right here. And we just have this like close, like we, I don't know how to explain. We have like this connection. We have like black lepathy. Like black people telepathy or some shit. Like we be noticing shit peeping in. We be like, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I just said all that to say we are so close as a community. And there's already so many other people and just different things happening trying to tear us apart. So I feel like we shouldn't even be doing that in our own community. Like, fuck the light skin, dark skin shit. Like, just be black and be proud. Black people are very good at pointing out the problems within our own group, our own community. And that's like the first step to changing it. Like, people had to acknowledge, you know, why is, you know, that picture with Jay-Z and... Beyonce and it was like Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys and all this other stuff. It was like a whole line of like black men and all their wives like standing up next to them. And it was like all light skinned women. And they were like, obviously there's some type of connection. Um, there's some type of connection there. But I feel like now that we've already acknowledged, yes, mainstream media um, portrays light skinned women a certain way now that we realize that there's that separation like we can begin to fix it ourselves like that goes and i think i mean noticing it pointing it out and then like speaking on it is like the first step towards fixing it to be honest and i feel like we're the only community that can like literally sit down and be like listen this shit ain't gonna work we're able to like not just point the finger away from us but point like point the finger at our own selves and be like this is what's wrong like we are doing this we are catering to this and then we begin to change it we just should continue to lift each other up and continue to love ourselves and one another and this would be like a thing of the past if that makes sense like like, I feel like we're going to be fine. Because we know how, like, I feel like the white community doesn't, they don't practice 
doing this, they practice doing this, 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 or they practice telling all these white lies about shit that isn't exactly the truth. And if they want, I feel like if they want to heal within their own community, they got to start doing this and really discussing, hmm, we've been stealing and lying and killing for generations on generation on generation. I just feel like there's something there. Like, that's why I'm proud as a black person that we can target things in our own life and our own community and be like, there's something wrong there. And I think that we need to discuss it to figure out how to not continue to carry on this way. And there was this post I saw, huge like bombing somewhere and it was another white person. And this guy, he made a post, like he was protesting and he said, ban all the white people until we figure out what's going on. All the school shootings and like just a whole bunch of other shit that they I feel like I feel like because white people have been doing crazy ass shit and not really acknowledging or taking responsibility for it instead of celebrating it, like they really need to acknowledge it, acknowledge the bad behavior and be like, listen, this like this cannot go on. You know how in the black community um, history low-key repeats itself for instance the light skin dark skin thing is still like relevant today and no we're not like on a plantation but that being done for so long like kind of you pass it down like generation and generation and generation it may not be the exact same way but you like you pass it down to your children so i feel like white people are passing some shit down to their children and their children's children but there's something there like i feel like there's something that they're not discussing because instead of talking about it amongst themselves and like this is like they spraying perfume on garbage you know what i'm saying like making trying to make this shit not stink but it like you can smell it, you can see it. And I feel like there's something there that's been passed down from generation to generation that they're not talking about. Like black people, we can sit here and say like, yeah, this is something that we're carrying on from generation to generation that stems from slavery and we need to um, stop. Like we need to stop doing this or we need to stop saying this or we need to like, we'll, we'll discuss but I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm proud to be black. Um, I think the light skin, dark skin shit is ridiculous. Um, I'm proud that black people are able to pinpoint issues within our own community. And I feel like that's progress. And I mean, we got a long way to go, but we're trying. And I feel like white people should do the same. I just think that we should continue loving each other and you should um, love your skin so that we can love each other's skin so that you can love your children's skin and teach them how to practice self-love because that whole, oh, this is another topic, Lord. But I just wanna say this real quick and I'm gonna get the fuck off. That whole, I wanna have light skin babies type shit is just like ridiculous if y'all saw the video there were these like professional athletes that were like clinking glasses with their white wives and they're like yes to more light skin baby clink 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 cheers to more light skin kids cheers to more light skin kids cheers to more light skin cheers to more light skin babies like that's so fucking stupid because if you're if your child were to come out dark skin would you love them less because that's what it sounds like like y'all ass need to do a real reality check i'm glad to be back on youtube and i really am thankful for my following on here on youtube thank you for clicking on this video i um hope that it sparks some discussion hopefully please continue to subscribe until next time yeah toodaloo we